No, and that's honestly what I usually see is falls, hip breaks, um, you know, lots of fractures, not you know, shuffling. If you ever see a person who's not able to pick up their feet, or I went to a symposium a long time ago because I'm a fitness instructor, and this guy was talking about functional uh, fitness, and he coined a term called buttlessness. And if you if you see somebody who with a flat butt, I mean, think about it. When you walk, you're using your glute muscles. When you're standing, you're using glute muscles. When you get up from a chair, you use your glute muscles. And he said, that is the one thing that you can tell how the longevity is somebody is by what their glute muscles are. So I, you know, you're, and I'm sure every woman was like, oh, wait, he put, he put on weight. And it's like, you have to understand that we have to get rid of the scale. And yeah. I know that's yeah. a hard card concept, especially for women. And I do coach a lot of men. I coach virtually. I have clients all over the world. So I do see it in a men too, that they get what they, they think they need to be at this certain weight. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you the shape that you want, the lifestyle that you want is not a number on your scale. And I know that's so hard because we think, oh, and everybody, I want you to think about that number that you think is going to make you happy. And throw it away now. Just take it out of your brain and throw it away because it's not going to make you happy. It's not going to get you the promotion, the boyfriend, the husband, whatever. But even you start working on your nutrition, feeding and fueling your body with what it needs and being able to build muscle, because when you start fueling your body with what it needs in a specific amount and also building muscle, and I'm not meaning doing cardio and working out for hours, you can start turning yourself into a fat burner and a muscle builder. 